Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to determine the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry given the equation of parabola. And eventually, we will try to sketch that parabola in a Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are given the direction that are in the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry of the parabola and sketch the graph. Okay guys, what is the importance of this? Kailangan natin makuha yung different parts of the parabola para may sketch natin yung graph ng ating parabola. And right now, we are given this equation x squared is equal to negative 4y. Given this equation, we need to identify these parts at ang unahin natin ay yung vertex. Now guys, as you can see, x squared is equal to negative 4y is the same as the format of x squared is equal to negative 4cy. Now, sir, ano po bang ibig sabihin na pagdating yung format? Automatically guys, the vertex of the parabola is at the origin or 0, comma 0. Nagyan natin dito origin. Ibig sabihin yun guys, uh, the vertex or the highest point or the lowest point of the parabola is at the center of the Cartesian plane. Now, after natin malamin yung vertex, before natin punta yung focus, let us know nasan ba yung opening or paano ba yung orientation ng ating parabola. Now, sabi ko sa ating previous video, if you want to watch that video, I will put it here. Kung paano ba yung orientation ng mga parabolas natin. If the variable x has the square or the power of 2, it's either upward yung opening or downward. Pwede yung ganito opening, pwede na mong ganito. Ngayon, paano tayo mag-decide if pataas ba yung opening or downward? Ang 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 um, defining factor natin guys ay yung sign dito. If this is negative, downward style. Pero kung positive to, upward style. Since this one is negative, yung ating orientation ay downwards. So, lagyan natin dito, downward style. Lagyan natin dito para may panatandaan tayo. Next, let's have the focus. As for the focus of this given parabola, ang dami natin na, as, a, as for the focus, we will try to get the value of 4c. Again, 4c. 4c. Because yung c natin, the variable c, it is the distance of the focus from the vertex, as well as the distance of the directrix from the vertex. Your 4c here is... Um, 4. Ang uulit ko yung, yung positive 4 guys ha, kasi lagi naman yung ano, absolute value. So, I will use 4. Now, sir, bakit pa hindi pwedeng negative? Kasi, uh, length ang hinahanap natin or unit of measurement, wala po tayong negative na length or distance. Now, if we divide 4C by 4, we can eliminate this and we can get C. And also this one, we need to divide it by 4. And the value of C is equal to 1. Ngayon, ang purpose nitong C natin is to find the focus. Now, imagine that the vertex is at 0, 0. We will start here. 0, 0. And remember, our orientation is downward. Imagine this one is your vertex. Ang focus natin ay nasa loob ng parabola, nandito. Meaning, from the vertex, we will move one unit downward. So, one. Ito na yung focus natin. And what are the coordinates of your focus? The coordinates are 0, comma, negative 1. Ito yung coordinates ng ating focus. Okay? Our, the coordinates of our focus is 0, comma, negative 1. Now, what else? Let's go with the directrix. As for the directrix, since ito yung vertex natin, nag-move tayo pa baba. 
Para puntahan natin yung vertex natin. From the vertex, mag-move naman tayo pataas ng 1 unit. Okay? Ng 1 unit. So, nandito yung ating directrix. Remember ha, the directrix is not a point. The directrix is a line. So, ang uli natin dito ngayon guys ay yung equation. So, lagay natin dito ito. Yan. We will draw a line for in this line is your directrix. It will be represented by the equation y is equal to 1. Since ito ay perpendicular sa y-axis at nasa 1 siya. Okay, this is y is equal to 1. Now, as for the axis of symmetry, what is the axis of symmetry? Since uh, the vertex of our parabola is at the origin, alam naman natin na yung axis of symmetry natin, it is perpendicular to your directrix at dumadaan siya sa iyong vertex. So dito, sa ating graph, yung ating directrix is the y-axis, ah, sorry, the axis of symmetry, again, the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. So, lalagyan natin dito, na ito ay axis ha, sorry, x is equal to 0. So, bakit po x is equal to 0? Sabi niyo po kasi, ano, um, y-axis sure. Yun nga po, uh, is perpendicular to your x-axis, kaya x is equal to 0. Dumahan siya sa ating vertex. Now, sir, how about the graph of the parabola? How about the graph of the parabola? Remember, sa previous video natin, I mentioned that your force C is the length of your lattice spectrum. Ngayon, given yung force C natin as 4, kunin natin yung value ng 2C. Your 2C is equal to 2. Sir, paano ko naging 2C is equal to 2? Because 4C is equal to 4, and I will divide it by 2, divide it by 2, and this is 2C over is equal to 2. Ito na ngayon yung magiging distance ng ating focus papunta sa left side sa sa right side. Para ma makuha natin yung end points. Of Lapus Prep 2. Sila yung makatulong sa atin para makapag-create tayo ng curve ng parabola. Now, since 2 units, so from the focus, mag-move tayo ng 2 units to the left. 1 and 2. Ito na ngayon yung first endpoint in which the coordinates of this first endpoint are negative 2 comma negative 1. While the other endpoint, wala sa focus, 1 and 2. In which the coordinates of this point is 2 negative 1. Now, as you can see, these are the endpoints of the lattice vector. At para buo natin yun, nagawa tayo dito ng curve. Ito na ngayon yung mismong parabola natin. Okay guys, this is your parabola in which the given equation is x squared is equal to negative 4y. So, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to identify different parts of the parabola given this equation and eventually using those parts, the vertex, focus, directrix, axis of symmetry, and even the endpoints of the lattice spectrum, we are able to graph a given parabola given its equation. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the notification bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me to Turbon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!